Greetings and welcome to this part of Let's Play Chronomaster. Right, so just after ending the last video, I found out which guy I had to talk to, which is this guy. If Renee Corda isn't stuck behind the table. Good luck to you, gentle being. I was wondering if you had a moment to talk. Sorry, I can't talk until I finish my shift. Well, let's watch anyway. I can stay around for a while. Maybe I'll learn something about gambling. Show your cards. Aces and eights. I win, but I'm afraid that this table is closed. Why? The house was winning. Aces and eights are the dead man's hand. It's considered unlucky. And luck has been terrible ever since I lost my lucky coin. Uh, now that you're off duty, can I ask you some questions? Sure. It looks like our talking was in the cards. Have you seen a suspicious character around here? He'd probably be lurking around asking questions. <laughs> like you? No, I haven't. I don't see much stuck at one table. I'll tell you who will know, though. The band sees everything. The band? Like in music? That's right. I played the Glyphnaut for them a while ago. Then I ran up some gambling debts and the casino took my Glyphnaut to settle the debts. Now I'm stuck dealing cards. Gee, that's a pity. I hope your luck changes. I guess I'll go and talk to the band now. Good luck! Right, so here's the guy... We need to... Uh, we need to either come get back into the band to get the information we need. Well... In that case, we need to clear his debt. Hello, I... Do you know what you want? Yeah, I do, actually. I I'm here to settle the account of the alien dealer, the one who was the Glyphnod player for the band. That will be 10,000 credits, please. 10,000? You do have a hearing problem, don't you? 10,000 credits. Well, we, I happen to have that. Here's 10,000 credits to cover the Glyphnod player's debt. This transaction has been recorded in the central computer, and his name is now clear. Now... While his debt has been cleared... I kinda also need his Glyphnod. Now, I could just buy it. But that's no fun. Jester, distract that person long enough for me to get the glyph knot. Right, old brave and clever leader. Round and round she goes, where she stops, no one knows. How such a small sphere can possibly create so much chaos. Uh, anyway. Let's push the button. Open the box. And snatch the cliff knot. And then run! Get out of here. Alright, so we cleared his debt. We have the glyph knot. Now I can either just hand in the glyph knot and get the information, or I can try to play myself. Which is also a fun option, but a useless option, because I have no idea how to play a glyph knot, because it's... It's a really weird contraption. Which apparently is made for uh, someone with more hands than I have. So instead, we're just gonna go fetch the luck of that dealer. In that coin we saw in the fountain upstairs.
And then we use the dice scoop and the coin. And now we have a shiny coin. Let's talk to the bartender again. Now that I'm no longer skinned. Luck smile on you, sir. Ah, same to you there, Sonny. Of course, now that I've turned my hand to merchanting, uh, luck doesn't mean as much to me as it did when I uh, sailed racing boats for the Solar Regatta. The Regatta seems to be an important event. Ah, it is, Sonny. It's one of the few games on Fortuna where skill counts more than luck. Skill and experience, that is. Experience? I don't suppose you'd share a tip with a newcomer, would you? Well, Sonny, I can't think of how long it's been since someone asked this old man for advice. I'll give you a tip. The path to victory is very deceptive. The right choice may not always be the winning one. Have you seen a suspicious character? He might be armed and will be asking lots of questions. Yeah, just like you are, Sonny? No, I haven't. But go ask the band. They know everyone. I like one of those. But uh, how about giving me a discount? The only thing I give a discount on are cocktails. If you buy five or more, I'll sell them to you for 400 credits apiece. Great. It's been a long day. I'll take five. Will you share them with me? I'll have just one, thank you. Looks like you have some wares for sale. Maybe I can give you some business. That certainly would be lucky for me, Sonny. Let me show you what I have. There are cocktails for 500 credits each. A lucky rabbit's foot, 1,000 credits. Lucky for everyone but the rabbit, I bet. <laughs> then, for 5,000 credits each, I have a PDA advanced processor, a silk nightgown, and the official Fortuna Games computer game. My, that's quite an odd mixture. Uh, pick what you will. Right, I still have 2,000 coins. That's not enough. I kind of want a PDA advanced processor. But in order to do that, I'll need to have a little bit of luck on my side. Fortunately with you. However, you don't seem to need my good wishes in order to win. Fortune is a slippery thing. I'd give a tip on my current luck for something to keep me winning. Luck is one of those things a mere mortal can influence. At least without it being called cheating. Probably true. As long as I'm winning, I'd best not even stop for a drink. I'm looking for someone. A rather suspicious character who may have been through here asking questions. Sorry. I haven't seen anyone like that, and I've been here for hours. <laughs> You want a drink? Let's see... Uh, Glass Nintendo, Red Death, Green Dragon... Fortuna Special. Here, let me buy you a drink. Maybe it'll bring you luck. It already has. I'm not thirsty anymore. In fact, I may go get another drink. Here's my hint. I think the blue machine is about due to pay off. Now that is a useful hint. If I knew which blue machine she was talking about. Well, in either case, it doesn't matter. Let's go reunite the Glyph Knot player with the band. Luck. You can't use that. Maybe we just Good talk. Fortune. 
Remember me? Sure. You're the suspicious character who is looking for another suspicious character. Well, I don't think I'm suspicious at all. I think I'm your lucky charm. I spoke to the band and they want you back. I'm sure they do. The thing is, I can't play unless I have my glyph nod. If I had my lucky coin, I could win the money to get it out of Hawk and clear my name. I told you I was your lucky charm. Is this your missing coin? It is! If only my debts were cleared, and if I had my glyph nod, life would be grand. Hmm, so I've heard. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I'll give you some advice. On Fortuna, a bet is always honored, but cheating is only considered wrong if you are caught at it. We also believe that if you cross someone, it will bring you bad luck. But if you honor a deal, it brings good luck. Even Alacra himself abides by these rules, my friend. All right. Well, good then. Fortune. Remember me? Sure. Well, I'm sure they. And return Don't the glyph. Don't be so nod. sad, friend. Look, here is your glyph nod, and I've cleared your debts with the casino. All I want you to do is go in and join the band. You bet. Well, I won't need this badge anymore. Well, if you don't need it, I'll take it. And it's a badge. That can get me into more secure areas. Good. Now let's see what the band has to say. Yay, they look so happy. Yeah, no way I'm gonna be able to play that thing. Everybody, look! It's Glyphnod Guru, and he's got his nod. That rings! You were asking if we'd seen any suspicious characters? Other than yourself, right, Sugar Pop? Jester. <laughs> That's right. Have you seen anyone? I think I know who you're looking for. There was a man through here asking questions just like you are. He seemed rather nice. Said something odd as he was leaving, though. Odd? Yeah, he muttered something like, I guess even pirates can have good taste in music. Well, Fortuna's full of gamblers, but not any pirates we know of. Hmm, that is odd. Did you see where he went when he left? He headed towards the service docks. Well, thank you for your help. Now I uh, really need to follow up this lead. Oh, Sugar Pop. You never take me dancing anymore. Right. Well, the surface ducts are through where that security guard was guarding the door. Let's see how helpful she's gonna be. Oh, she's knocked out. Go on in. Oh, right. Need to use the dealer's match on the door. The other badge, then? Can you? Right, just open the door then. Fine. Damn you, game logic! An empty surface corridor. This basically screams out ambush to me, but let's just move forward. Mm, nothing suspicious here. What's on the monitor? Nothing but static. And I know this corridor stretches out for a long, long way. These tunnels feel like they're closing in on me. Ah. Can we open the access panel? Nope. 
Let's try unscrewing it. Ah. The floor plate has a particle decelerator in it. Well, expensive and hard to find. Yoink. I get that feeling of deja vu. Ever get that feeling of deja vu? Well, at least this bucket of paint is different. You don't know why you would need it. Especially since nothing else in this corridor seems to be that color. These tunnels feel like they're closing in on me. Oh, they probably are then. Proper security identification tones needed for access. I can't use the... Mm. Can I use the PDA? No way we can get through here without the code. Someone needs to go through the service duct and access the control panel. Jester, you're smaller than I am. Svelte is the word you're looking for, I believe. Petite. Cute. Winsome. Flattered enough, Jester? You wound me, Sugar Pop. Now here I go. What I'll see, no one knows. Good work. Yeah, a vocoder. Um. Well, nothing more I can do here. Maybe I missed something. More than likely. Oh, what was that? Right, open the door. Talk to the nervous alien. Oh my! Oh my! We must get that bomb away from them! Don't touch that. You don't know how it's triggered. Why should I listen to you? I don't think he's gonna listen to a rationale. Let's just intimidate him into doing what I want him to do. Because I have a gun, and I say so. You must be the mother. Yeah, stupid diff, I know. Oh my! Oh! Don't touch that! Why should I listen to you? Because I'm here to help. Let me see your badge. Oh. Will he take the security photo badge? Here you are. <laughs> now help me put that hazardous waste container over the bomb. They're not meant for this, but it might work. Then if it goes off and we cut loose your friends, the can should contain the worst of the explosion. Alright, so. My hero! And then walk to the aliens. Open the aliens. Yep, that did it. Well, it looks like everything is under control now. I'll be on my way. Thank you for saving us. Now we must find and arrest the monster who did this to us. You leave that to me. You stay here and keep your post. Yes, that may be best. First, however, we have a film of the Mad Dad. 
Interesting. It's a shame it isn't clearer. I'm certain he was giving the password to get onto his ship. Come here and examine this control panel. These buttons operate the elevator. The others operate the casino function. You may find this useful when you catch the miscreant. Well, now that you've briefed me, I really must hurry. Thank you. Thank you. Fortune follow you. Sugar Pop, you're a genius. Think of a way to clear up that tape of the password. But that'll be next time. Bye.